all men. This is the famous Chimino. The dish that I'm most looking forward to eating here, which are the sand dabs. Which is we had to try one more version of Chopino. See? Oh, and the whole filet pops up. So welcome to Tadich Grill since 1849. Classic restaurant, downtown San Francisco, known for their seafood. They have a cool history right here on the menu that says it. Uh, 1849, during the California Gold Rush, three Croatian immigrants began a business which later became the Tadic Grill. Very good, very well, good. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Once and again, like I said, you're totally different from Kenya. I look different? I look different? No. Totally different. I look, okay. more, more handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You sit down, you immediately get a half a loaf of sourdough. I think it's sourdough. Look at that bread. Looks that crust, that inside. Look at that. Oh man, that bread looks so good. Mm. Oh, that bread is so good. San Francisco sourdough. Mm. That texture, that flavor. Now I gotta figure out what to order. But um, we're definitely gonna get the sand dabs. That's one of the main dishes I wanted to try here. So what was your name again? Jose Maximilian. Jose Maximilian. Yes. Been here for 21 years. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Seemed like yesterday. <laughs> oh, so cool. My pleasure. And a young man. This is the ch famous Chimino. You know. Karen Franz Alamanza. It's a Franz Alamanza. 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 Sand dabs. And the sand dabs. Beautiful. This is the setup for the sand dabs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. So, what we do is, I'm gonna sh just give you a little okay. heads up. This is what we do. Ah. You cut the edges first, I like guess. This. this is the method of eating it. Yes. And now you hit them like about three times. Okay. And then you go right in between. <laughs> See? Oh, and the whole fillet pops up. And then the bone. Very nice. Come out. Yeah, I always nice. like to cut this a little belly on the side. Okay. And there you go. You put a little lemon, if you wish. Wow. And this is the tartar sauce, any kind of broiled fish. Okay. Enjoy, Perfect. please. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you to Jose who is taking such great, great care of us. He's so friendly, so nice, great service. Um, and I, I just love how they wear white coats, man. It just fits the atmosphere perfect. The restaurant is packed now, and that's just a testament of their history and of the quality of food that they preserve here. The dish that I'm most looking forward to eating here, which are the sand dabs, which is a type of flatfish, uh, but these are small, like about, about hand-sized, let me just taste it with lemon first. Start with that tail end. Beautiful, oily. You can see the oily skin, the oily flesh of the fish. My first time to ever have sand dabs. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Oily fish, a soft texture. You've got that deep fried crust on the outside. Man, that's just like oily and buttery in texture. Oh man, look how it's just so buttery, oily. The fish oils just juice out of it. It's so good and so flaky too. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, next dish, there's prawns in here. And Jose said there's a lot of paprika in here. Big, meaty shrimp. Oh, there's uh, crab meat. And then on the bottom is rice. Rice, crab, all baked like a casserole. Oh. Mm. oh, hot. Very hot. Mm. A paprika seafood stew. All over rice. And then just kind of like baked together so it's hot. So it mingles all the ingredients all together. Mm. You taste the flavor of the paprika in there. 
which is not spicy, but so fragrant. And all that shredded crab meat in there. We had to try one more version of Chopino, the signature dish of San Francisco. I like how they pile the seafood high. I love, again, this is totally different from the other versions that we've had. It's more, the, the broth is more see-through. It's not as puree, not tomato puree, but there's chunks of tomato. There's lots of celery in here. I mean, this has been a tour where we've had some amazing Chopino and learned about the history of Chopino in San Francisco. And so, this is like bringing it all together in this historic dining destination, Tadich Grill. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. The seafood he brought, the fish in there. This one to me is lighter. And again, not as, you, yeah, it, it's, it's not the tomato puree as many other versions that you'll eat in San Francisco. This is more eats like a soup. Mm. Nothing overpowering, just the delicious taste of fresh seafood all in a, in a soup. Mm. So buttery, crispy. Oh, the garlic and the herbs on there. I love the heavy fish content but there are some shell shellfish. Here's a clam below here that's just fully loaded with, with the, the drippings of all the other seafood. I love their giant cut vegetables. Those kind of vegetables where you're not quite sure if you should take it in one bite or not. One bite. Very good. Uh-huh. Very good. Look at the size of this fry. You'll have a better comparison when it's up by my face. That's what you call thick cut. It's like a one fry meal. Mmm. It's more like a roast potato. Squeeze that with lemon. Mm. Mm. This is the dish of the meal for me. Oh man. That buttery texture, that deep fried skin. Oh man. The oiliness. I think this is one of the, the cleanest versions of Chopino. And, I, and for me, it's really all about the fish in their Chopino. And as we continue to have dinner in here, the entire hall is packed. I love how it's so energetic. It's just buzzing. The waiters, the waitresses are just flying around in their white coats. Such a cool setting, atmosphere, and delicious seafood.